Hey guys, Roger here, and this is the ASUS ZenBook 14 and 15. And ASUS very kindly sent these over just so that I could check them both out. And these really are very compact laptops. And I think design wise, they look awesome. The color works well with the royal blue body and that very nice gold trim. And the finish on both of these laptops is just what you would expect from ASUS. Now to look at and touch, you can tell that these really are well built. There is also a 13 inch ZenBook, but these are the two that ASUS sent me to take a look at. If you look at the current range of ASUS laptops, you'll see what ASUS call Nano Edge bezels and they're actually really thin, which makes the whole experience so much nicer. Not only are the bezels very small, but the quality of the display of both laptops is really good. They both have a 1080p display and they both look great. The larger ZenBook 15 has a matte finish on the display, which honestly, I prefer that over the glossy finish of the ZenBook 14. One of the reasons I'm a fan of ASUS products is because they're adding clever features to their laptops, such as the built-in numpad on the ZenBook 14. Now, if you normally use a numpad, then you'll know how frustrating it is when you pick up a laptop that doesn't have one. I think this is actually a really nice feature. The ZenBook 15 is bigger, and so it has a normal numpad. So if you want that awesome looking numpad built into the touchpad, you'll need to go with the smaller model. The keyboards on both laptops are nice to use and the keys have just the right amount of travel for my taste personally. There is however a slight amount of flex around the keyboard area when you're typing, but nothing that's really bothered me. In fact, I think overall the build quality of both laptops is actually very good. There's an IR camera which is used for logging into Windows and also a webcam built into the top bezel. Of course, you'll also find a number of connections on both laptops and it's worth pointing out that the ZenBook 14 has a micro SD card slot while the larger ZenBook 15 has a standard SD card slot. To be honest though, that really doesn't make any difference to me at all. As far as specs go, well, you can choose an i5 or i7 quad-core processor, up to one terabyte of SSD storage, and up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. And if I'm buying a new laptop, I'd want as much RAM as I can get, but that's just me, of course. The ZenBook 15 has GTX 1050 Max-Q graphics, and the ZenBook 14 comes as standard with just Intel integrated graphics, but you can opt for an NVIDIA GeForce MX150 GPU should you require it. Battery life of both laptops has been good and while the ZenBook 14 doesn't last quite as long as the 15, you'll get between 9 to 10 hours of usage roughly depending on which model you're using. Of course, I did play Fortnite because that's something I play quite a lot and I've also done some less intensive stuff like browsing the web and watching YouTube and both laptops are capable of handling everything very easily. Performance will ultimately depend on the exact specs you choose and don't be expecting to play games such as Fortnite and Apex Legends with maxed out settings as these are not dedicated gaming machines. However, they can certainly handle most things and I think, in my opinion, they're both great looking laptops with a good display and that very thin bezel. Something else that's quite important to me is audio and the speakers in both of these laptops are actually very good. Yes, they are still just laptop speakers, but the sound quality really has impressed me. I did also review the very impressive ZenBook Pro 15 a few months ago and I'll leave a link to that review in the description below along with links to these laptops in this video. If you liked the video or found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing so that you don't miss my next video.
I'm Roger with Life of Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.